have a great crafting time. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Latasha, Wanda, Terry, Zita, Lisa, Loretta, Becky, Jolie, Patricia, Wendy, Mona, Arsena, Terry, Diane, Gloria, Amy, Kim, Tammy, Janet, Hillary, Carol, Amanda, Maria, Anne Marie, Gracie, Lisa, Diane, Krista, Catherine, Valerie, Denise, Kathy Ann, Chris, Dixie, Susan, Linda, Christy, Denise, Kristen, SD, Diane, Barbara, Noreen, Judy, Michelle, Deborah, Nicole, and Marilyn. A huge thank you to my co sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good morning. Welcome, everybody. We had over 100 people here before the video even started. Oh, now there's 230. Thanks for being here. Uh, if you are new to my channel, I do this every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We do design space classes, and there's different themes. And um, we are live on YouTube, live on Facebook, and live on Twitch. And every Saturday morning, I do a giveaway. Sometime during the video not at the beginning uh but today is a special giveaway cricket is sponsoring this giveaway for a cricket maker and you have to be in canada or the united states in order to win you have to be able to chat and you have to be live august 24th between 11 a.m and noon maybe sometimes we go over um and all of that. But uh, Cricut only ships to Canada and the United States. I do a giveaway every Saturday of, uh, sometimes, it, you, some, sometimes you might win a little Cricut guy. Um, last week I gave two of them away. And sometimes it's just a $15 gift card to Amazon or cash through PayPal, and that is worldwide. So what I've decided today since um, I like to do worldwide gifts because when I ship something, I'll ship it worldwide. Um, so today, if the first winner is from another country, not Canada or United States, they will win my $15 prize that I usually give out um, if, they're, if they don't have a U.S. address that we can ship it to. If you know someone in the U.S., we could ship it to them. So, and it's the fourth Saturday of the month. That means it's Pinterest inspired. These are my most popular videos because I teach you how to make your own designs in Design Space. You don't have to uh, get an SVG. You don't have to pay for it. Well, if you don't have Cricut Access, you might have to pay for some images, but a lot of them can be made with fonts and free images. There's a lot more free images in Design Space that are always free that you might not know about. Please put your questions in all caps. If you ask a question, you might want to watch the chat a little bit because I have such awesome people watching, subscribers and moderators and everybody who help answer your questions, especially if it's a question I've already answered or one that I show in every single video I do, like contour. I think I show that in every video and I... I don't know. I show so much in all these videos. There's over a hundred Cricut Design Space classes. They're always free and you can go on my channel and watch those. And Wednesday night, and I know there's, I'm talking a lot and some people don't like the talk. I like talking to you guys. If you're watching the replay and you don't like it, fast forward, you can watch the video in high speed and you can skip ahead. Um, Wednesday night, if you missed it, I released my own channel merch. You might see it underneath the video or next to the video if you're on a, um, what was I going to say? A mobile device. You might have to turn it the other way. But because this, I'm being so generous today, I'm in a giving mood because we're doing two giveaways. Um, maybe. Yeah. And I just forgot how I was going to do that. But I just remembered. Okay. We're doing two giveaways. And, oh, 
I want to give you guys 10% off my merch. So Wednesday night, I announced my merch here. I'm wearing a shirt, busy creating with Melody Lane. So there's, this one is a limited edition. November 1st, it will be gone forever. You will not be able to get it again. This is a real popular one. Um, oh, I'm on the wrong thing. Hold on. Let me, there is a link below in the video on YouTube. On Facebook, there are no links. My assistant doesn't work on Saturdays. Um, let me try to, oh, there's my links. I'm going to put them in the YouTube chat if you can't find the description. If you can't find the description on a mobile device, what you need to do is turn it and then click the little tiny, tiny triangle arrow. Okay. Oh, and you asked for mugs and tank tops and hoodies. They didn't have zip up hoodies, but I added mugs, two types of tank tops. Here, I can show you. Whoops, wrong one. You just saw my messy desk. Um, oh, so they have this tank top, which is really popular right now, and uh, regular tank top. Signs of awesome. You are awesome, Ronald. For someone who embraces their flaws and know that they're awesome regardless. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, I embrace my flaws totally. Uh and we have the mugs. So you can scroll down and no matter what, what image you click on, then you can choose everything from that. So I'm gonna show you this really fast. Okay, um, so you can click this down button and click on any of the things. But I wanna show you this mug. I ordered it in that color. I think I ordered one in this color too. You have 20 colors to choose from and you can order the other one in the mug and notice uh, I'll be receiving 25% off along with everybody who supports my channel at $15 or more or if you support my channel at $4.99 or more then you get 15% off always but during this video if you click those links you will get 10% off and that's only during the live video. I'm turning off that code after this live video. So, okay, are we ready for design space? Are we ready? And uh, the drawing, <sighs> Because the Restream bot, if you see in the chat, he's transferring the chat from Facebook over to YouTube. So if you, do, if you don't come straight to YouTube and you chat and that Restream bot puts your name and your answer up there first, because I'll be asking a question, you can still win even if you're on Facebook. It just, but I'm looking at the YouTube chat. But as you can see, I'm seeing your Facebook chat right on the YouTube video. <sighs> yes, you can buy a hoodie. Okay, let's go to Design Space. If you have questions, please put them in all caps. Thank you for subscribing. If you subscribe during this video, we'll see your name on the screen. Okay, so I was trying to decide what are we going to do today for Pinterest? What type of projects? Sometimes we do cards, paper projects. Sometimes we do t-shirts. I thought, well, what are we going to do? There's back to school. Thank you, Ronald. We are ready once we give Melody a thumbs up. Whoever wants to win a maker, give a thumbs up. That's not entering, but uh, show me how many really want to win that maker. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Okay, guys, so I typed in, do you can't see that? Let me lower. See, I typed in fall shirts, fall t-shirts. I thought, let's see what's there. Um, so I was looking and I found a cute, some that I really liked. This bibbity bibbity boo. I saw this in my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. Um, 
if you are a member of my group, Cricket Design Space with Melody Lane on Facebook, um, there's lots of inspiration and stuff there. I'd love to see your projects. Um, and I thought, I just saw this this morning, falls out, balls out with a football. I thought that was neat. And, okay, there's one that I really, really, really like. This cat. Okay, this says, I found this humorous. And it's a bone. Isn't that cute? It's your humorous bone. Should we start with that one? I kind of want to start with that one. I think that would be so much fun. And we can make this easily with Cricut Design Space images. We don't have to upload. We don't have to go to Etsy and find a crappy SVG. Not all SVGs on Etsy are crappy. But I see so many problems with people doing this. Okay, that's enough thumbs up in the chat, guys. Thank you. I don't want to miss any questions. So um, try to stop the thumbs up. Yeah, click the thumbs up underneath the video, the like button. Okay. Um, so do you guys want to do the kitty? Yeah, cats. You guys love cats. And then we'll come back. We have plenty of time because I, I think it won't take so long. We'll see. Oh, thank you. Luna Leonard bought a classic t-shirt. Awesome. I love Luna. Okay. Um, where's design space? Okay, so we're going to do the cat. So we're going to click over here on images. And look where we're at. We're, <laughs> I was looking at these categories. Normally, you're on images automatically, but I was just looking at categories free this week. These are free until September, which I guess is only one week left. But uh, there are tons and tons of back to school images. That's why I decided not to look up back to school on Pinterest because um, I wanted, I there's so many on here. Like we don't need to design anything for back to school because it's already done for us by Cricut because they're amazing. Oh, and I also wanted to uh, show you guys, do you see my screen? There's lots of blank images. These are all printable images and there's a problem right now. They're not showing. So if you, Welcome, Rita Jackson. You can now use those emojis. Um, Cricut is aware of this problem and they're working on a fix for it. So this will be fixed very soon. And if you bring these into your project, you can see them. You can click on the little eye and you can see what it is and everything. And if you decide to bring it in, you can see it on your canvas. If you don't want it, you just delete it. Okay. Um... Let's go to, oh, is it? Okay, wait, I'm gonna click on categories and show you this really quick. You can always click categories free this week. Oh, Helen bought a mug, thank you. And most popular and recently added is always fun to see what's new in Cricut Design Space. I know a lot of people don't know about this because they don't click around on buttons, but you really should. Okay, so we're looking for a cat. There's tons of cats. Um, that's a cute cat. But I um, want to make this more for a t-shirt. I don't want a scary cat. That cat wouldn't be bad. Cat mom, that's cute. Um, this one might work. Let's just click on it and we'll keep looking. Always click on them. If you click on them and highlight them in green, this one might work. We can get rid of that butterfly. Oh, now this cat looks, he, I just like him. I don't know, for some reason, he looks like sneaky or something. Uh, 
Um, oh, look, the cat heart attack thing. What is that heartbeat? They're all mad here. Bobby loves the cat's meow. Oh, that's a cute image. And if you want to find out what cartridge they're on, you just click this right here. And then if you want to see the rest of the images, you can click on this is my fab pad. I don't remember this cartridge. Oh, yeah, I remember now. These are fun. Okay, uh, you guys can't see the bottom of my screen. There we go. So it'll show you down here which ones you want. If you decide you don't want one, you can click the X. I'm going to bring them all in. And I change the color of my canvas by clicking over here. This eye will never change. It'll always have a line through it. But once you click down here, you can change the color up here. I like to make it different than white for you guys so you can see better. Oh, Science of Awesome bought a shirt. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's do this one first. I want to show, oh, you know what? We need a bone. I forgot. We need a humorous bone. Let's click on images. And search bone. I don't know if we'll find it this way. Um, look at the skeleton dinosaurs. Dinosaur Bones is the name of the cartridge. And it has the name of it. Look, these are like flashcards. Can you guess what dinosaur this is? <laughs> um, see, I think we're all going to get like dog bones this way. And I don't think we can search humorous. It won't have specific bones like that. But see, these are all dog bones type bones. Okay, so let's try something else. Let's try skeleton. Thank you, Christy. Uh, skeleton. Okay, so we got the dinosaur skeletons, some dinosaur heads, and some fun skeletons. Day of the Dead's coming up. That's November 1st. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, these are gymnastics. Aren't they? Oh, no, they're winter sports. I guess it's a sled or something. I don't even know what they're on. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, this skeleton might work. Teddy bear skeleton. Are you guys looking at new images? Did you guys know Cricut Design Space has? Do you know they have almost 100,000 images? It's crazy. Oh, what's that? That's scary. Oh, that's from Indie Art. That's a really old cartridge. Okay, pirates. Look at the pirate. Uh, was that a balancing beam and pommel horse? See, no, I thought it was gymnastics, but it said winter sports. Oh, gymnastics is a Olympic winter sport. I got it. I was thinking um, snow stuff. It was in there. Okay. Kim Robson, thank you for buying a t-shirt. Okay. Um. I'm going to go ahead and just use this skeleton. But we need the humorous bone. Is that how you say that? 
Is it really humorous? Is that why they say you hit your funny bone? Okay, but we only need one bone because this cat is not finding a whole skeleton. That would be a little scary. Uh, so what we're going to do is go down here to this bottom corner contour. See, I said I show it in every video. Uh, hide all contours because we're not clicking on all these bones. We're going to click that. It's leaving this one bone, and you guys can't see this very well. Uh, it's leaving, it has to leave one cutout. So it, it's doing that as a solid shape cutout. Thank you, Cindy Martin. Uh, but we want this bone right here is the humerus. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click over here. Whoops. This huge mouse is kind of annoying. There we go. Now I can click off. And we got a humorous bone. And I am going to change it to white. Okay, um, should we put this bone with every single little guy here? Little kitty? I think so, I think we can do it. Let me show you how, it's real easy. We're gonna start with this cat. We're gonna take a shape. And we are going to slice out the butterfly. We can't contour because if we contour, the butterfly is attached. See, it's it's welded on there, so we can't do it that way. But we can do it this way, select them both, and I only have two layers in selected in the layers panel so i am able to slice if you're not able to slice look in the layers panel there's a reason and look at that okay um okay and in this one let's duplicate the bone and you can move it any way you want if you want to do it like this you know you could do it like that. Uh, we're not going to need this anymore. Let's delete it. And this one. And then we also have to add words. He needs a hand holding it, I think. So we're going to bring in a circle. And I'm going to need a square, too. We're going to just move him over to the right. We're going to unlock this lock right here. here. Let me move this guy out of the way. Let me group him so I can move him all together. And I'm going to make a little arm right here with this circle. We're going to give the cat an arm. You know, it's his front leg, but. And we'll turn it. OK, now if we change this to black. And, oh, that's what, let's just do this one. We're going to duplicate it so they can each. Okay, now let me zoom this in. I want him to look like he's actually holding it. Okay, so, you know, what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate his arm. I'm going to make a little paw. And... Hold on, let me zoom out. Let me grab this square. Doesn't need to be that big. And we're gonna cut off his paw. A slice. Oh, Beatrice says his tail could hold it. That's a cute idea, too. You could have his tail hold it. That's cute. Um, but I want to do this because I had this in my head. But you totally could have his tail holding it. Okay, we're going to duplicate him. I'm going to make his tail hold it also. Um, there, now it looks like he's actually holding it. Tamra, thanks for buying a mug. 
Isn't that cute? Now you could do this on all of them and have um, him hold that. Okay, so now, okay, that was such a great idea. Having his tail hold it. I love how you guys help me with this. We're just one big team. Uh, Pamela says the chat is scrolling over your images. How can I change that? Uh, turn your phone or iPad the other way. Um, oh, we're going to put it here. I think maybe put it this way and have this part of his tail on the top. So it looks like it's actually holding it. We can also get rid of the star if we want by clicking contour and taking out the star. If you don't want that, if you want it, you can keep it. Um, so I am going to, I'm moving this box over here. Actually, I want to move him to the back. So we're going to arrange to the back. I like the box on top of him. And we're going to slice. Okay, all I need is this little piece right here. So what I'm going to do is have this selected and click contour and get rid of everything except for that, which it did the opposite. And it has brought it in at 573%. So if you can't see it, just click this and make it smaller. But it only has two cuts and I can see them here. So that's all I need. Uh, so here's the tail. Okay, let's move this. He found two humorous bones. And we're also not done. Look at that. Uh, because if I change the color of this, hold on, let's delete everything we're not using. Okay. We have these guys. Uh, let's hit make it. You guys can't see my make it button. There we go. Okay. So we got the bones there and his arm is over here. It's hard to see because it's black, but his arm is over here and that's not where we want it. So I'm going to cancel. Thank you for buying a swatch or it's a long sleeve tee. So I'm going to change the color of this so you guys can see the cut. So what we need to do is this black piece, not this one on top, his little paw on top of the bone, we are not going to touch but we are going to select this arm. I'm gonna hold down my shift key and then select the cat and I'm going to click weld. It's down here on the bottom, let me pull it out. So we had to weld this and it moves it to the front and we're just gonna move it to the back again. Now we don't wanna weld this extra piece because that's gonna be applied on top of the bone. It's not going to be um, underneath that. And this little paw would be applied on top of the bone. You would put these all the same color, um, but those will be extra pieces you would apply on top. Uh, What else? Okay, do you like it in his paw or is his hand better? Or his tail, I mean. What do you guys like better, paw or tail? Okay, uh, now we need, let's look over. I found this humorous. Uh, what is the address to order? There... You can see the t-shirts down below, but if you want the 10% discount today, you can click on those links in the chat. You guys like the tail. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do, because when I make these files, thanks for subscribing, I share them with all of you when we do this live and you guys are helping me. Um, 
Oh, I'm clicking on my wrong screen. All right. Um, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put select the little paw and this bone. I'm going to group it together. And then I'm going to hide it. Oh, you know what? I don't like the arm there if we're going to put it in the tail. So here's what we're going to do. Undo. I am going to move the tail and move him and I'm going to make him black though first. We're going to group him and we're just going to hide him. Now we actually need that cat to come back. Um, okay, let's unhide. Hold on. I want to I want to just bring that image back in. So I'm going to go down here to image and click on pussycat. We're going to bring him in again. And now we're going to we have him grouped. We're going to hide him. And is he the same size? I think so. And you can, you guys can size this. It's only three inches. You'd want to make this much bigger. So bring that to the front and bring his little, wait, let's bring this to the front. Let's contour up the star. There we go. We'll change the tip of his tail to black. Isn't that cute? Okay. Um, and I think those cats are pretty much done. I think they look good like that. Uh, let's do the words. Uh, okay, I'm going to take these guys and... I'm just going to group them to hide them so we don't have so much on the screen. And we're going to work with this. I like this cat the best. Um, how do you spell humorous with a bone? H-U-M-E-R-U-S doesn't seem right <laughs> this seems like how I would spell it which doesn't isn't usually right um, so I'm gonna double click that again I'm gonna put this uh, hmm I'm so glad you guys are learning that you didn't know you could uh, bring in an image like this. Okay, now, um, there's so many fonts. Hold on. And I want to make sure you guys have access to a font that I use. Nope. Hmm. Where's the awesome font? Oh, that's just a writing font. It's not a cutting font. I don't know. I might just let you guys choose a font. Use a Halloween type font. Okay. Um, oh, what are those called? I forgot what they're called. There's a couple Halloween ones. Thank you, Ronald. Almost 300 thumbs up.
Yeah, everyone share your favorite font or a font you want to use here. What are those Halloween fonts by Cricut? Um, I think they're coming up like they start with an F or something. Yeah, there's blood dripping fonts. We could add some blood dripping down off the bone. Do you guys want to be really scary with it? There's gravestone, but it's just writing. I see this font all the time there. Happy hauntings. Hmm. I don't, I don't think I like that one. Well, here's what I'm going to do. There's another one like that. Here's Happy Haunting Spooky. Oh, I don't like that one either. Not for this. We're just going to uh, choose a plain font. There's one I like that starts with a K. Oh yeah, Frightful Affair. I knew it started with an F. Um, hmm. I don't think I like it. I like it for some things. There's one Starts with a K. <laughs> oh my gosh, that didn't help. Um, it's. Uh, Kaiden. I was thinking that I like that one. Okay, I'm going to do this one. And if you guys get this project, all you have to do is click on it and you can change it. I'm not going to edit it in a way where you can't change it. So you can just click on it, double click it, and you can change it to whatever font you like. Um, what was I going to do? You can also change... Um, the alignment, if you want it like that. You can change it any way you want, but I like this one. Um, okay, now I forgot, I was, somebody said something. All right, so I'm gonna save this project. Um, Cat humor puffs. Now you can move this over here or over here, and you can go that way and wrap it around that way. You can do it any way you want. Um, so there's that. And if you get this file, if you have access, it'll be completely free. Um, there's the Remember, there's the other cats in this grouping. So if you want those, you can do that. Um, this is not going to stay right here unless you attach it. Let's see what happens when we click Make It. Okay, we got the bone. And... We got those and you can't see it because it's black. So the little uh, part of the tail is up here. We do not want to weld this or attach it anywhere because this is going to go on top of the bone. So if you were doing iron on, you would iron this on first and then the bone and then this on top of the bone. Um, so, and you don't want this up here normally, I would scoot this over. So then I can cut this out separately. 
and put it on there where I need it to go. And you'll just put it right on top of the tail here. It'll be really easy. Okay, um, I'm sharing the file in the chat on YouTube. I will add it to the description later. Oh yeah, we forgot about blood. Do you guys want to put blood on it? That would make it more Halloween. I think this could be done any time of the year. Yeah, and uh, Sarah says you could add cat fangs. You could totally make it any way you want. Look at all the blood. There's so much blood in design space. I'm not sure I ever would have thought to say that. There's more than this. I've seen more blood. But this is cool. I think that will work. I'm going to make it red. And I don't know that we need all this blood. We could contour it out if we don't want it all. Let's see what that does. You could do it. You could do it something like that. You could put this anywhere you want, really. Okay. Um, we have a question. What's the difference of saving a file to public or private? Saving a file. I'm going to go ahead and save this again. So if you don't want that blood, you can just delete it. Um, I'm sharing the file here. I have it saved as public. I ask when I share a file that you save it as private so you don't share it anywhere else. I don't like people sharing my files. I do, and I just thought of something, if we want to make his eyes white. Uh, I'll fix that. If we do, um, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> so if you save it as public, that means you can share it like I'm sharing it here. You share the URL, people click on it and can save it themselves. I prefer you save it as private so you can't share it because but if you have if you use this file and share a project with it and they ask where you got it tell them you got it from this video i don't know why it defaults to public it just does um let's say we want to change his see his face it's see-through um i want to make it not see-through so what I can do is contour, and we're going to contour everything out, and we're going to make him white. Now, if I was ironing it on, I would not want two layers of this cat. Um, what I would do, and I'll just go ahead and do it. You don't even need to do that, what I just did. <laughs> you could... Just use the circle. I was just going to slice his face out, but you don't need to. You could just do it behind him. Well, you know what? I'll just, I'm going to slice his neck off. And then we'll just have his head behind there in case it shows during. Thank you, Ronald. Okay, I'm going to slice his whiskers off too because ironing that on top is kind of hard to get whiskers perfect. Slice. And we're going to slice off this side of whiskers. Okay, so now I'm going to put this right there, move it to the back. There we go. Now I'm going to group this. This will not cut out just, well, this will because I haven't 
changed it. So that will cut out like that, but not where it should be according to this. So you might want to ungroup this and attach the black cat to the writing. I don't want to do that because I want you guys to be able to change it. Yeah, no one can get your files if you save them as public unless you share them with a picture and a description. Okay, have you guys learned anything yet today? I'm going to save this again. And I will share it again. Okay. Oh, I saved it with this little headless cat. You do not see the CC on the iPad. What do you mean by CC? The copy or the duplicate? Uh, I think it's under edit. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, I want to do, I think, do you guys want that football? Or, okay, so tell me football or this one? They're both kind of easy. The grateful, thankful, blessed with feathers or falls out, balls out. What do you want? Oh my gosh, we have 579 people watching right now. Uh, how do I add score lines? Okay, we got football. Football, okay. And grateful. Okay, you know what? I'll do both. We'll just run over time. Um, to add a score line, you just hit here. Here's the score line. You add it to your project where you want it and then you attach it to your project. You select your project and your score line and go down here and click attach. Okay, uh, should we do the giveaway first for the maker? Uh, we're gonna do a new project. And we will do football first. That was the first answer. I'm not a football fan either, but I'm a grateful fan. And so we'll do both. Uh, shall we stop though and do our maker giveaway? Yes, yes, yes. So here's some football images. <laughs> All right. Uh, we will, hold on. Thank you, Signs of Awesome, Ronald Kruger. You are so awesome. Okay, Jamie has the word. And I am going to have to stop the chat. I mean, in order to enter, you have to be in the YouTube chat. Thank you, Joy, for buying a flowy long sleeve tee. Um, you have to be in the chat on YouTube, possibly Facebook if it works, if it's going over to YouTube. And what I do for these giveaways, what I've been doing lately is you have to answer a question. Thank you, Spirit Junkie. An apple for the teacher, you're so cute. Um, you have to, <laughs> yes, let's stop and do the giveaway. You have to answer a question, it's, it's a word from one of the videos I've done this month. Because this is a bigger giveaway, it's from this whole past month of August. I usually do, from the past two videos, I do videos every Tuesday at noon, every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And so it's a word from one of those projects. Um, and the first person to say the word wins. So it's not a cricket word. Um, it's not like a Cricut product. It's not like the Easy Press Mini. 
I see uh, lots of great answers. Welcome, Chris. <clears throat> oh, um, bless mama. What about a cheer shirt? There's lots of cheer shirts. Mom cheers. <clears throat> and mom, su uh, not Super Bowl, mom football and mom sports in um, um, design space. Okay. Jamie's helping me look and I'm way up in the top. And when I say stop, the winner has been done. Um, that means it's over. We have a winner. We have a war winner the first time somebody says it. I don't see it yet, but I'm behind. I can see the chat because I have the chat paused. Oh, we got one. We got one. I have a winner. I have to go back and make sure it's she was the first one. But I do have a winner, so please stop with the chat. Yeah, Jamie found the same winner as me. I'm just going to scroll up a little and make sure she is the winner. You guys have a lot of great answers. Oh, and I will show you. I wrote this down. That's the word, grateful. But we already have our winner. And I'm just double checking that I haven't missed it from somebody else. And that word came from my engraving video where I engraved a bracelet that said grateful. And it's one of my favorite words. And I'm sorry if I'm not looking at you through the camera. I'm looking at the chat and making sure she was the first one. So sorry. There's a lot of guesses and she's the first one. I'm going to take a screenshot. Liz Candle won. You are the winner. So Liz Candle won. Congratulations. Uh, you will need to email me, Liz, at MelodyLaneDesigns at gmail.com. And uh, yes, it, Liz was the winner. And um, I need your address and what color of maker you'd prefer. You get to choose from lilac, champagne, rose, mint, or blue. Um, if you want to go ahead and give me two choices, your top one first. If one is out of stock of a certain color, then we'll send you another one. So um, I will need your shipping address. And you just won the maker. I'm so excited for you. Yay, Liz. I can feel your excitement. Like, I feel how happy you are right now. Oh, my gosh. It just hit me. Congrats, Liz. Yay. Yes, you won. Okay. Let's go back to football. Oh, that's... She's going to faint. Oh, I can feel your excitement. Okay. Football. Did you guys see these in here? These are kind of cool. These are football player icons and printables. There's lots of these for all different kinds of sports. Ooh, there's a football. Uh, eat, sleep, football. If you guys like football, don't go to Etsy searching for football or Google searching for football. It's so much easier just to get these images. Gymnastics was easy. They'd call it football. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I love this. Queen of the Beam. I've never seen that one. People have been asking for gymnastics. And this would be perfect for if a sister did gymnastics and the brother did football. The, I, I really love that because I love gymnastics. 
and I don't like football. <laughs> um, okay, so we're looking for football. Oh, look at this one. Look at the heart football. Dibs on the coach. That's for the coach's wife. Uh, unless he's not married. Keep calm, I'm a football mom. And then we'll do the grateful one after this. Look. Love you to the end zone and back. Tailgates and touchdowns. We could use that one too. We could use any of these footballs. Any of them, we could bring these in. It's the most wonderful time of the year. You guys, we do not even need to make a football one. Look at all these. I will just so I can show you how. But if you like football, just search football on Design Space. There's a fall. Turkey football and pie, oh my. You guys, there's so many. And look at all these. Oh, that's European football. Oh, look at that ball. Is that new? No. I just don't notice things for football normally. We could use this football. I don't know if it's any different than the other ones. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I see. I've seen this before. I just don't notice footballs. This is drawn shapes. This will draw and fill it in with a pen. You could use infusible ink pens on this. See, look at all these football ones. And all you have to do is click on them, size them, and cut them. And if you don't have access, they're only 99 cents. And you have it forever and ever and ever. So much easier than going and buying an SVG that you don't know if it's made correctly. <laughs> That's right, Joan. My favorite kind of uh, ball is butterball, says Joan. Oh, there's a card. That's a really cool card. Thank you for subscribing, Kathleen. Okay, we're going to stick with these right here. Thank you, Ronald. You know what? <laughs> you guys are so awesome. Okay. Um... Okay, I almost think this is too detailed. And you know, you can always turn it that way if you want. And this one, oh, let's change this background. Um, hmm. This one looks almost the same as that one, almost. If I wanted to use this one, I would have to ungroup, click on this and contour out the word and. Let's see, it's probably got the, the insides of the letters there. Yep. I think I like this one better. If you wanted to, I'm gonna ungroup this. What are these little stitches? Is that writing or cuts? I wanna look at this bigger. 
That's tiny, tiny cuts. I don't know if that would cut very well. Okay, we're not gonna use that one. Um, what is the difference of public and community on design space? Community, everybody can see it. Public, only people can see it if you share the link. Okay, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna keep this for some reason. We could use this instead of this if we wanted. Like we could put that over there, but it'd probably be too small. Well, it depends on what we're doing. I said I was keeping it. Listen to me. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Okay. Um, thank you, CC. Let's look at that football. Falls out, balls out. It's all capital letters. We can only curve one line at a time and you cannot curve on the iPad. Um, let's, let's do that, is it Kylie? Is that the name of that font? Kaiden. Do we want that font? Maybe it's not thick enough. Well, we're gonna curve it. I'm gonna click more because it's not showing curve at the top. Oh, you know what? Let's do maybe varsity. Um, let's try this one. Let's curve it a little less. This also has two layers in it. You could just choose one layer if you want. Um, I'm going to duplicate this and double click it and does it have an apostrophe oh it needs a space okay it does have apostrophe s at the top i was thinking so okay so now this one it says the correct thing but we need to curve it the opposite way I think we need to make this bigger. Let's make the whole thing bigger because this will fit in your pocket. Okay, let's select them all and align them. Hor distribute horizontally. Okay, now let's align distribute vertically. There we go. Um, now, if we want this all one color and we want it exactly like this, we're gonna attach. We could, oh, because it's attached, you can't contour. We'd have to detach, contour out this and add this if you want, but I think that one's better. I'm going to hide this just in case. So is that good? You guys like it? That didn't take long. And um, I attached it, but you can detach. And you can all capitals. Here, let me change this to all capitals. 
it won't change the picture, but if you change the font, it will. There. So now I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. And if you want it detached and change anything, you can detach it. Or you saw how he did it, you can make your own. Uh, Tammy is asking, when did Design Space start auto sizing images that are bigger than Design Space Matte? They started that because it was crashing the plugin. I don't know when it started, but it did, and it's going on now, and they're not changing it because it crashes the plugin when it's too when you're importing huge images. Okay, so let's save this. I'm gonna call it football um, out. You can save it as anything you want. And sharing the link. You know what? I think if I share the link over here, and I'm not sure if it goes to Facebook also. It might. Oh, it does. When I share the link, it does go to Facebook. I have two chat things open. So I'm going to share the link to get the merch for 10% off over here on Facebook. And it goes to YouTube and Twitch. It's only good during this video. It will be turned off after the video is over. So if you want some merch at a discount uh, and you're not a supporter of $5 or more or $4.99 because you get a bigger discount. Okay, uh, let's do the next one. We're going to go to new. And we were going to do the grateful one. Where is it at? Grateful, thankful, and blessed. I love these words, you guys. Whenever you're sad, think of something you're grateful for. Write down 10 things you're grateful for. I say to do this, uh, write it down, put it in your pocket. And anytime you feel sad or jealous or any negative feelings you're feeling, pull that out and read it to yourself. It really can change your life. And I, okay, here, I'm going to start preaching. If you don't want to hear me preaching, I guess don't watch my videos. But being grateful has changed my life completely. I have like everything I've ever wanted and you guys make me so happy. I am so grateful for all of you. And when I get sad, I change my attitude. I think of what I have and what I'm grateful for. Even if it's your health, you're grateful you have internet. You all have internet or you wouldn't be seeing this video. Grateful for the electricity because usually the only time we're grateful for electricity is when it's been out because of a storm or something or you couldn't pay your bill and then it comes back on, we should be grateful for it all the time. Always be grateful. Okay, back to a regular scheduled program. Okay, let's make this grateful, thankful, and blessed. Okay, we need some words. Oh, let's find the feathers first. That's always fun. Feathers. Okay, there are tons of feathers. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to share this project. Not because I'm mean, because there are so many feathers and you might like different feathers. So this one looks like it's drawing. Oh, that would be good if you want to make infusible ink pen shirt. You could do that one. Look at all these feathers, and they're free. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Well, we're going to bring these in. I don't think we need to look any further. We'll just look real fast just for fun. Okay, we're going to insert those feathers. 
Um, yeah, these are drawing feathers. So these would be awesome to use these feathers if you want to make infusible ink pen shirt. A shirt with infusible ink, you could draw it with the pens. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and delete this because we're not making a drawing image. But you totally could. Well, I'm not sharing it anyway. So if you guys want to use these, you can. But these are free. And I'm going to look... Let's look, see how many we need. I think just two. Uh, these two look the same. Okay, we're going to contour. Um, and I'm going to get rid of the ones I don't want. I think these two are the same. Hmm. I can't decide. So we're gonna go with these. And, oh, I don't want that bottom one. Um, I don't want that one either. Okay, I'm gonna move these over. Let's get our words. I'm putting them in all caps. Grateful. Is that how you spell grateful? It's one of my favorite words. I guess it is. Um, no, I'm missing the E. I knew there was something wrong. Right? That looks right. Okay. Grateful. Thankful and blessed. Is that what it was? I'm going to do an extra space. So I'm hitting enter twice. I don't know if we're going to stick with that. Okay. What happened to Trudy? Everyone's saying congrats. Oh. Oh, congratulations, Trudy. Cancer survivor. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going back to Kaiden because that kind of looks like what that shirt was. I like it. Of course, you can change it because I'm not even sharing this with you. You can choose any font you like. Oh, I don't know if I like this feather. I kind of like the more detailed feathers. Okay, we're going to duplicate this and contour and, okay, that's not what I want. I want to get rid of those. Mm, let's try that one. Uh, contour. Let's try that one. Now that I see this in here, I think I want a different feather. I know there's more feathers. Yeah, I like the other feathers too. Oh, that's right. I searched feathers plural. You guys, I always teach you this. Thank you for learning. And feather is what we want. I knew there are better feathers. Okay. That's a possibility. Thank you, Ronald. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at the feathers. Look at these. Oh, I like these. We might have to change it. Oh my goodness. Look at these awesome feathers. Wow. I knew there were better feathers. Thank you for reminding me. This is a great one. It's already made for you. Thank you for reminding me about the plural. I always say search singular. You could even use this one. Heck, you can do anything you want. 
That looks like a real feather. Okay, how many watching did not know there were this many? Um, wow, there's so many. This many feathers in design space or this many images. Yeah, I think we're going with the arrow. Oh my gosh, look at how many I have chosen. I think I want to go with the arrows. Do you guys think? And just, I'm going to exit out of these. But of course, you can make it however you want to do it. Search feather, not feathers. Yeah, there's so many choices. Okay, let's get rid of these. Now, these are free if you don't have... Oops, I clicked at the same time that came in and it grabbed it. We just got to size it a little smaller. Now, you could if you just want to use one of these and you could flip it. Um... I'm just going to, I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to show you, you can duplicate it and then you can flip it horizontally and it'll face the other way. If you want two of the same, you can do that. <clears throat> now you can also break these up. Um, I can change the line spacing and bring them closer together if you want it's it's really all up to you and what you want to do you can select them all and also align distribute horizontally so it's all even that way if you want you can attach it all it'll change all the colors to the same and you can cut it out of any iron-on or vinyl or whatever you want to do. You know what? I don't like this. Something's off. You know what? These words. We need to go to a line here and center. There. That was way off. All right. I'm going to share this file with you. It's, it's just too cute. Oh, my gosh. This is awesome. What size is this? It's only four inches. I want it a little bigger. That's all right. Let's save that. Um, we're going to say great, thank, bless. Okay, I said I wasn't going to share this one because I showed you how to do it, and it's so freaking easy, but you know what? I just can't help it. I got to share it with you. Mary's asking, why aren't Disney images included free in access if you have a subscription? Because Disney has a license. Disney doesn't allow that. Disney gets, I assume Disney, I'm assuming, I don't know. Uh, but I know Cricut has a license. That license is probably hundreds of thousands of dollars. And um, Disney gets a piece of the images that you purchase. Disney actually has to approve every single Disney image. They don't just copy Disney things or they actually have to approve each one. But I mean, I don't know. Isn't that awesome? This is my favorite one today. Grateful, thankful, and blessed. And I really love the kitty cat one. I really, I like this better than the shirt. This one, grateful, thankful, and blessed. They made theirs bigger, it looks like, too. But you can make it any size you want. All you have to do is click on it and drag this. Or you can go up to edit and change it to any specific size you want it to be. Thank you, Kelly. That's right, the world is abundant. 
and there's enough for everybody to go around for everything for everybody to go around you should never be jealous of other people you should always be uh, excited for other people and happy for other people and that puts out um, hold on trying to that puts out good vibes when you send out good vibes to other people and are happy for them it brings those vibes back to you it attracts good things and brings them back to you thank you myriad I'm so good okay so did you guys learn something today remember we do design space classes every saturday 11 a.m eastern time the fourth saturday of the month is always videos like this where i look up something on pinterest and then we try to create something like that in design space and not searching for svgs and or asking people to make this or you know any of that you can make it yourself it's so easy and with almost a hundred thousand images in design space there's so much in there and it's so much easier than cleaning up images or downloading and unzipping and all of that. You guys are so awesome. Linda wants to request black infusible ink calligraphy pens. I will suggest that to them. Hey, and if you guys are watching the replay, if you could put something in the comments, something you learned today, those people watching the replay have not, are probably not still watching. It's an hour and 22 minutes. Uh, but when we're live, it seems like it goes so fast. Yes, you should always have an attitude of gratitude. <clears throat> should I make a shirt that, with the attitude of gratitude on it? I have pins coming out that say the busy creating. Uh, that's the next pin coming out in September. Um, and then later this year will be attitude of gratitude and the thank you card. So uh, these are my emojis that will also be pins. And I have more ideas for t-shirts and stuff too. Oh, and let me know. Uh, I can do hats for my merch, but the hats are embroidered. And I'm not sure. They have to be approved so they can actually work. I'm not. The busy creating one, I think I can do without my name on it. I'm thinking my name would be too small to embroider that. Almost 400 thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Angie. She says, you brighten my day and spreading positivity. It's really important to be positive and to have positive vibes. It, you guys, it's changed my life. It completely has changed my life. It takes a lot of practice to change from uh, negative to positive. But it, it will, I promise you, it will change your life. It does. It changed my life. Okay, hats, please. Okay. Um, I will work on the hats, and the hats are embroidered. I thought that was kind of cool. Anita says Teespring is a good company. And now, underneath all my videos or to the side of my videos, depending on how you're watching, there's my Teespring store. Um, oh, I'd rather be cricketing. What was I going to show you? Oh, design space. Uh, so remember, you can click up here and then choose whatever you want. We have the, where is the hoodie? Here it is. So there's the hoodie. You can get it in any color you want. I like that one. And this one. Um, 
the hoodie goes up to size 4X, but it looks like it's out of these sizes in black. Let's see. Oh, maybe it's out of those sizes. Maybe it is right now. Well, anyway, and then you can click up here too. And it will take you to the store. And uh, so you can click on any product here with this image or any product with this image. And then you can change it here. You can click on all of the options with that image. Yes, Cynthia Ward says, Melody, can you do a video with the new Cricut Mini on a hat like you did the shoes? Yes, I plan to. I have some hats. Welcome, Mariette. Do you have a count of how many shirts were ordered? Uh, no, I have a count of last I looked, there were 215 items ordered but that was all items it could be mugs and hats or not hats uh, mugs and totes and stickers and shirts I don't even know the total I don't take care of any of that I don't ship it I'm not making these projects here's my shirt um I don't take care of payment or anything like that it all goes through the teespring company and then um I set up the shirts and things I want to sell and I can choose the colors I choose every single color option that's available I just say you know why not let them choose their own color um and then they send me the profit and if you support at $4.99 or more on YouTube Facebook or Patreon of uh five dollars or more it's you get 15 percent off all the time if you support at $15 or more on patreon you always get 25% off Marilyn I am so glad you said that she said it was very interesting today your theme song puts me in a good mood thank you for that uh, somebody's asking where you can get the thankful grateful and blessed I'm gonna post it again in the chat Thank you, Mary Jo. All right, guys, I think I'm going to let you go. Next week is going to be an amazing design space class. Can't tell you what it is. I might even do a design space class before next Saturday. Can't tell you why. Uh, yeah, Tracy, for, yeah, for supporters, you always get that 15%. And if you are a supporter, look in the description of the video on YouTube. If you can't find the post on Patreon or on YouTube or Facebook, um, it's in the description of the video for each one. It'll take you to the post. It'll say the $15 or 15% or $4.99 supporters. It will take you to the post to find your special code and link. And um, that code and link will change about every three months. Oh, Peggy says, I hate when your videos end. Can you tell I hate ending them? It just keeps going and going and going. I like hanging out with you guys. Kathy says, how do you know which discount should be applied? Um, Well, if you support at $4.99 to $10, you would get the 15% off code and you have a link to that. It's what's posted to you. If you support at $15 or more, you have a different post with a link to that 25%. The link should automatically put um, the code in it for you. Oh, and remember, you guys get 10% off. 
Here, I'm going to post it one more time because I'm turning that off when we're not live anymore. Oh, that was the wrong. That was the not the link to buy. That was the design space link. There we go. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys are learning. Okay, somebody said, what about this week's win? Not the maker, but the $15. So the winner of that is going to be the person that was in second place. And uh, Jamie found that one for me. It's Rebecca Moore was the second one to answer the grateful. So Rebecca Moore, email me at melodylanedesigns at gmail.com. And you will get a $15 whatever. Tell me how you want it and give me your email for PayPal or email for Amazon. Mary, thank you for buying a shirt. Thank you, Kat. Yeah, the link will automatically give you the discount. All right, guys, now I'm going to let you go. Miss Joan, I think you rock. And uh, Joan, I'm going to email you after the video also. All right, guys. Okay, now I'm really going to let you go. I love you guys. And there's going to be more giveaways in September. So make sure you're subscribed. Click that like button. And I will see you Tuesday at noon Eastern time. Bye.